Moin. How you doing? just woke up from a nap and we're gonna play some cyberpunk and then we're gonna continue what we were doing yesterday uh, or the day before by looking for some cut content and most in most particularly or specifically content that could be brought back in future updates look what happened to me playing today this fucking bug this is that bug that I talked about in the video of how LODs disappear, like they fade in between each other. So the entire LOD of an occupied building uh, faded in and out, but all of the, the like junk items and NPCs and stuff stayed on the building. Also, these guys aren't T-posing, they're doing Tai Chi. I know it looks like they're T-posing, they're not. Uh, anywho, let's play some of this, and then we'll keep going. Part of me wants to figure out how to do a, a Polish-English accent, uh, or do some kind of, like, Pavel Sasko impression. Look at him. Look at him. Such a stylish boy. Such a stylish, such a stylish boy. For, like, a gag of some sort. But, um, I don't know. Next Pavel streams on Sunday, as always. We'll see. We'll see what happens. It's just going to devolve into German. Yeah, I mean, I'm American, so I don't really understand other cultures that aren't my own. So, um, let me, real quick. How have I been? I have been cyberpunkin. Oh, did you see it flash? It did it again. <clears throat> so, um... Did the ground rise? I don't know, man. The world streaming system's fucked. Look at this piece of paper. Oh, it despawned. Look at that piece of paper. That piece of paper's floating. Come on. We're better than that. Is your ass actually touching that? No. I wonder if they ever had working boats. If I'm gonna be honest, probably not. I've never found any evidence of working boats. Find something to do. Okay, great place you got here. I wonder if they'll ever add boats. It doesn't seem like something that's that requested. People are requesting uh, flying cars way more than boats, you know? So, I don't think so. Alright, so... Let's find something to do. Let's just look at the map. Oh, look. Look at him. Look at him. Such a stylish boy. Such such a stylish boy. I've been playing some more. Um, we're at level 26, street cred 30. Uh, we've got 51,000 fucking quid. Let's go spend some fucking money. Um, I don't know. What do you want me to do? What do you want? I don't know if flying cars are going to get added. Bug counter. Uh, we'll start bug counter right now because I didn't know we were going to do bug counter. 
But sure, bug counter. We're at zero. I'll call him out as I seize him. Uh, what is violence? Uh, that's Lizzy Wizzy. Chipping in, go to the afterlife. Uh, Pyramid Song, that's the end of Judy's quest line. Pan Am. Uh, can't do that one yet. Bunch of other stuff. Uh, for the time being, I just want to work on what the extensive modding or custom levels possible, custom mission scripting. Uh, custom levels and mission scripting are not possible yet, I don't think. Um, not without illegal source code, which is actually a pretty big topic of contention in the modding community. There are some people that think it's totally fine because we don't have modding tools, and then there are other people that won't touch it at all. Um, and it's really, it's back and forth that argument, you know, I'm of the belief that we shouldn't be using it to mod because it'll drive away, uh, CDPR's conversations with us, you know, the modding community. Um, however, to be completely frank, I do, I do see the other side of it, you know, I do understand why people think, you know. Maybe, maybe we should use what we have to make the best content if the game's still not good. So it's, you know, uh, the modding is a lot of bug fixes, rebalancing, new quests, like holy new quests. I don't think we know how to how to do yet. Will Cyberpunk ever have multiplayer? Um, that's a complicated question. I. It depends. Like, for the longest time, yeah, it, it was going to. It was called CPO, Cyberpunk Online. And it was totally just a GTA Online clone. Um, and then the launch failed. And then they said publicly that they weren't going to be working on it for a while, or they had rethought the direction of it. But then... In a recent investor call, they mentioned how they're still working on online components, but then called comparisons to Gwent, uh, CD Projekt Red's standalone Gwent game, as the online component that currently exists for the Witcher franchise. So, who knows? Um, in the retail games files in the localization tokens that exist in the retail build, which is the area of information that I am willing to pull from, uh, as I'm not pulling from the stolen content in any capacity on my reporting. Uh, I will reference it uh, to help me research other locations, but I will never be like a sole published like I don't want to be the person that actually leaks any of this stuff I'd like to build a decent relationship with CDPR for the future I'd like to get a Keanu interview one day um, so uh, but in the retail build of the game uh, CPO character creation quest line the CPO character creation quest line is pretty much spelled out um, which is probably the version that they're not working on right now. And then there are also references to just a straight up deathmatch mode and then a standalone multiplayer heist mode. So it seems like, well, you gotta remember Cyberpunk was in development for, Jesus, many years. It was in development from 2013 to, to release and it's still in development now uh but up until 20 mid 2016 it was all prototypes and we don't know what we're reading right it's not possible to understand from what point in time any of this content is you know like where it came from so you know do you think they'll add brain dances back back no they'll definitely use them for future content, especially expansions, yeah. But do I think they'll add brain dances back? No. Like, I don't even know what you mean by that, you know? What brain dances, like, 
Um, there were cut brain dances. Yeah, in fact, there's a cut brain dance that sits in the game's files right now. I don't see that as something that would be added, quote unquote, back, you know. Because it's from a quest that was removed, and again, we can have this conversation as much as you want. Uh, the brain dances that can be bought, those were never, as far as I can tell, those were never something that you were supposed to be able to listen to watch. Plus, the brain dances that could be bought are fucked up. They're XPDs. You really want to watch the, the, you know, dismemberment brain, brain dances? Come on. Um. But you bring up an interesting question. Can they be added back? No. Uh, because if a quest line was removed from the final game, they wrote around it, you know. A lot of the quests, especially main quests and side quest material that were removed, were set in stone in late 2019, right? So, trying to add that kind of content back in will introduce significant amount of plot holes. It's like, you know, asking an author to put back in a chapter of a book that they had removed and wrote around. You can't do that. It introduces a fuck ton of plot holes. Um, so... I'm a menace. I'm a menace. I love that horn. Don't you love the sound of that horn? So... God, I hope you don't drive like this IRL. Oh, you know I do. So, yeah. probably will get multiplayer to some extent. Um, I have theories on it, but I'll just save those for my next video. Like, to exactly what I'm going to be in. Man, shoutouts. Shoutouts to trying to to get in an accident. Oh, it's this area. I hate unique chat mode. Okay. Tyler, on the type pad it said dynamic text. That's a bug. Did it fucking really? <laughs> yeah, it does say dynamic text. GG, everybody. GG. Well. Yeah, thanks. Oh, wow. Thanks for the five. Well. How many of these well. freaking... Well. Well. I forget what it's called. What is the... Fool in the Hill, right. There's two more. 
Not even Long Dick Johnson, and he had a fucking long dick. Negative, finally. Now waiting for Vax. <sighs> it's two more to get. There's 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 two more to get. Yo. If they add apartments to the game, do you think they would add more functionality to them? Uh, I mean, probably, but then the question is, like, what exactly is it that you want apartments to do? Because I've thought about that. Like, some of the promises that they made, you know, and couldn't keep for one reason or another. What would some of those promises even really fucking entail? And I think Pavel did say something like this on his last stream when discussing, uh, like, a subway system, a metro system. Players will use it once and then just go back to using fast travel, you know? So what exactly would you use in this game? What would you use it for? And it depends what you mean by... Because part of me is like, okay, I'd like to be able to bring people home and have sex. And then that can give me some kind of, like, stat boost for the day. Or I would like to, you know, run some kind of illegal business out of the apartment. That would be cool. Um, I would like to be able to train certain stats out of the apartment. Like Fallout 76. How you can, like, play the piano or lift weights and it'll give you a temporary stat boost. That would be cool. Like, yeah, there are totally things that you could do. Now that I sit here and try and think about it. Yeah, you, there are totally things you could do with that. Um, and then, of course, I feel like the number of apartments that... Yeah, okay, now that I'm thinking about it, there's a lot you could do with that. Will they do it? Probably not. The big one is the thing that they pretty much just outright confirmed and that's bringing people home it's in the first deep dive video v a man leaves v's apartment right so it's like okay you know that would that's kind of that's kind of what i expected that's what i would have liked to see more than just like the two joy toys and the four romances and then meredith stout in terms of all the sex in the entire game so You know. I'm in Jesus. Thank you. Ten months. You see, I think the, ga the thing the game is missing is interesting characters, which they really can't fix. I honestly am of the belief that that's one of the few things this game does have. I feel like the game's characters are the best part of the game characters, the music, voice acting, side quests. Those are the best parts of the game. So, no, I do not... I don't agree with you that, that the, the game doesn't have go good Madden. characters. Uh, go Madden. Vico Sin. Vico Sun. The OST is probably the, the best thing the game has. Like, the game soundtrack is just... Oh. So good. But, I mean, like, you honestly don't think Jackie was a good character, or Pan Am's a good character, or Judy, or Carrie, or Takemira, or Johnny for that. Blair, Rogue. There are some really great tiny characters that are barely even seen in the game. Like the, uh, that couple, the, the politician running for mayor and his wife. Like, they're in, like, two quests and they're amazing. And I won't spoil their quest line here, unless we end up playing it. That's... Uh, such a, like... River? Are you serious? River, are you serious? You don't think the game has good characters? Come on. That is, like, the only... That's, like, the absolute... That is the thing the game does better than anything else, in my opinion. 
The game does characters fucking phenomenally well. So I disagree on that one. And no, you can't, if they didn't, no, you can't fix it. But at the same time, you could make the expansions a bit more dynamic in your decision making and how you affect the characters' lives. And those expansions are going to be fucking huge, and they're going to seamlessly integrate into the game. The way that CDPR did expansions with The Witcher 3 is that those quest lines are just in the game now. They're not like a separate world space or something like how Bethesda does it. So when the game gets to the point where, you know, you have a choice to make or whatever. Uh, no. When the game is out and it has all that extra content released and you have, like, the ultimate version, you won't be able to tell that you have it installed. The game just feels like it holds significantly more content than it, than it did on launch. Simple as that. You know what I mean? And I'm of the belief that when all the patches that they're planning are out, the next gen patch is out. Last gen's forgotten about. <sighs> you know, all the stuff is taken care of. It's just, you know. Oh my god. The game's gonna be unrecognizable than what it is right now. Which is cool, but at the same time, it's like, well, it should have been like that on launch, but what are you gonna do? <laughs> Hey, look, it's the uh, street kid opening. But will they ever do... But will they ever do add the content? Oh, yeah. Are you asking, will they ever actually add the content? Yes. They're working on it right now. Do you think they're not actually... Like, what do you think CDPR is doing? They need to boost their stock prices. What can I do for you? <laughs> I don't think they'll add the feature to sit down and eat at a bar. I agree. Why would they? You gotta think of it in terms of the ecosystem they've already laid out ahead of themselves. There are things they would never be able to do, and promising it to begin with was stupid. If free DLCs actually add older cut content in 1.0, then it's going to be very negative. The free DLCs probably won't. Uh, some of, I'm not saying the DLC, I'm saying future updates will bring back certain features that they didn't get done. And those features won't be from 1.0. No, 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 no. I'm more saying... How do I put it? I'm saying that when it comes time for the next-gen patch, they could add the full food system they were planning. Uh, gang warfare system or the more defined uh, weapon and armor and enemy attributes resistances and buffs which are still technically in the game but super understated due to just how poorly balanced the entire combat system is and how little information is actually communicated to directly through the HUD um, I will say the quest that are rumored to be added into the free DLC, the four or five street story quests, aka gigs, uh, they are in the game, and you can play them right now, but they're very unfinished, and they could very easily have changed their mind. 
So, uh, we'll see. Level 33, out of my range. Again, I plan on talking about that in the video. But, the next video is TF2. I was told by Simple Flips we were all gonna meet tomorrow. Simple Flips is in Ohio right now, by the way. He's hanging out at Scott's house. And he was telling me we were gonna do something, but it's already one in the morning and we don't have a plan set in stone, so probably not tomorrow. So tomorrow I'm probably going to be filming the TF2 video. I have some ideas for it. Um, there are I'm I'm kinda I'm kinda leaning into the whole making the videos a bit more hokey, jokey, time to time. Because everybody seemed to really enjoy how I kind of added a, just little sprinklings of, of humor that were related to the topic at hand. And when talking about Team Fortress 2, I really want to lean into the whole, I'm, you know, there's nothing really to talk about. Valve has left us for dead. And I have some ideas. I kind of, I kind of previewed certain bits, but uh, I came up with a, a bigger joke that'll kind of tie the whole thing together. So, we'll see if it pans out. Regardless, you're getting a TF2 video. Um, and then after the TF2 video, I'm finally going to get the last of the planned cyberpunk content out. Uh, I likely will make a video on 3.0 comes out discussing the things that it fixed if it fixed any of the things I wanted to have fixed if any of the you know updating the uh, the, the mod list to, to reflect one 1.3 making sure I mention any any things that you know just you know when 1.3 does come out which it will be coming out I'll make a video about it but it's not one of the long-term videos I'm planning uh, and 1.3 could very well bring some of the free DLC. Uh, we'll see. Anything about Citadel? Nope, not yet. Fortunately not. I'd love to give you a really good Citadel video, but you know, again, it depends on if there's information to talk about. I saw a weird image out on the street. Uh, seems like your line of work. What'd it look like? I grabbed a scan. Take a look. Taro. Major Arcanum. What you saw was a sign from a higher power. If they do it like Witcher 3, they'll bring a DLC a week for a couple weeks after 1.3. Well, that'd be fun, I guess. You know, it'd be a little easier if this higher power learned to be direct. A maze of illusions. It's not easy for the light to shine into the prison of our earthly existence. Right. Great. So, what do I do with a sign I can't understand from a power I know nothing about? I'd start by looking for more of them. I got all of the them. The tarot missing. describes a road, so go down it. Uh, other than I do think that the dreams competition that's happening in CS:GO is related to an operation, though I don't have much else. Still don't know what I'm supposed to do with what I find. Are you playing with mods? Look oh, for yeah. more images. Oh, yeah. They must have some connection to the place where you find them. Think about what you see. You ask me? They've been sent to help you find the truth. Finding the truth is pretty far down on my list at the moment. A difficult time is coming when you'll have to choose which road to take. Then, you'll understand. I don't know. Come on back when you've found more. Being I'll able to sit down and eat see. or drink at a bar is one of the most requested I saw more of those features. freaky murals. Did they start making sense? Tell any sort of story? Uh, instead of... All just a bunch of tarot cards. Instead of... How do I put it? Instead of sitting down and eating, I would so much rather have the consumable systems be completely rewritten. Arts. I'm pretty sure my brain's now... The tarot tell... Here. Hmm. You're still missing two arcana. My guess is that they... <laughs> that... You'll understand... All the... Meaning... The final... Could just die. Oh, come... Take this.
Good luck, V. On whatever road you choose. Love you, Misty. You deserve better. What are you? And I tell you, no! The Arasakas are no ordinary clan. They're not even human! Vampires! The lot! Their bodies, they never age! But notice their eyes, cold and dead. Their corporation exists only as cover for their wicked means to live, or rather, to remain undead. I tell you now, Saburo is not gone from our world. He rests undisturbed in the family crypt. He feasts on the blood of his servants, awaiting his body's rejuvenation to return once more. He's Mark telling the truth. Words. Wouldn't be a total shocker. Said on TV, Arasaka's working on immortality tech. A hollow lie to conceal their inhuman nature. Any news on Elder Scrolls 6? A little bit. Its source flows not through Bethesda technology, stuff I'm planning but on doing later their in the year. undead blood. But how could mere mortals become these death-defying abominations? Now with a 3080 Ti, are you planning on doing RDR2? Oh hell yeah! From Alpha Rockstar Centauri. is the next company I want to focus on. It was on. their tainted blood Saburo Arasaka drank to transform himself into this devil spawn. Gary, you can't spill Arasaka's secrets. They gonna find you. Let them. The seed has been sown. The truth shall sprout roots and lift us from the invaders' clutches. I recognize you. You come here often. Your eyes tell me that your mind has opened to the truth. Will you provide a humble donation so that I may continue my mission? Sure. Do good work. Use this to wake Night City up. Thank you for your devotion. I saw a disciple of truth in you from the very beginning. If you turn a blind eye to their existence. Oh, glad to help. You lonely. You ain't too like Saboru Arasaka. Do you want me to find slash add more stuff to that GTA 6 document I sent him a few months back? Hell yeah. Any help I can get is always appreciated. Tom's Diner. Buck a slice. Tom's Diner. Buck a slice. Tom's Diner. Buck a slice. Let's do the Pizza Hut quest. Let's do. The Pizza Hut quest. Let's do 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 the Pizza Hut quest. Does the guy in the wheelchair still get up and run when you attack him? Oh, of course he does. Do you know how they fixed it? They tried to remove all guys in wheelchairs until they figured out a better system for pedestrians. I, I, it's called, internally, it's called the community system. Like, internally, the, the code refers to all NPCs and stuff as the community system. Uh, so I really should be referring to it by its actual name. But nobody knows what the fuck I'm talking about when I say community system. And to be honest, it's a misnomer. The community system was originally written to be one thing, and it's now not that thing. Ah! Go! Onward! Away! You're not gonna go if I'm on you, huh? Man, whatever. The traffic system is a fucking joke, and I talked about it in my recent report.
more than anything, I want to be able to have vehicle customization. And I'd like to be able to steal cars from the game world, tune them up, paint them, and add them to my list. Not just these fucking buyable cars that are scattered throughout the city and are very expensive. Even though Braindance Protocol does allow you to do that. A mod does allow you to do that. I want you, I want you, I want you, I want. I fuck you, I fuck you, I fuck you, I fuck. I hate that song, man. Oh my god, it's the worst. <laughs> it's such a bad song. What's the best way to get money to buy cars in the game? Uh, hoard everything and then sell everything. I mean, I am wearing a cyberpunk jacket that, were, that was given out to... This jacket, by the way, given out to press and CDPR employees. Managed to snag one on eBay somehow. Are you sick? Because you sound sick. No. I hope not. Are you sick? Because you sound like you've got a dick. Throat. Fucker. Not usually a mean ass. But for you? Battle Cry 773? Seven, You're here a lot? Everybody, tell Battle Cry to fuck off. Just once. I'm kidding. Don't do that. I'm sorry. Was anyone else kind of disappointed with how the cars are sold in this game? Oh, hugely. I think the I think everything about vehicles in this game was done badly. But again, I am the one wearing the cyberpunk jacket. So obviously I do still like the game. See, I wish people understood that you can you can be very critical of a thing and still like that thing. It doesn't seem to be something that people understand. Man, I tried to kill that guy. Didn't let me. Do this, do this quest. Hey, are you guys enemies? You guys en- oh. I'll hook you up! Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What should I be working on? Oh, handguns should be close. Yeah, it is. By the way, I did the parade quest off this off stream, and I, w I saved Takemura this time. 1C, 1C, 1C. 1C. Ah, whatever. I want you, I want you, I want you, I want. I fuck you, I fuck you, I fuck you, I fuck. The song is real bad, and I wish it wasn't in the game. And also, I wish that Grimes wasn't in the game. Is there a mod that shows you that you're taking damage? No. Does it bother anyone that a game all about, like, corporate overlords and the wage gap and... You got Elon's wife in the game? No one at CDPR thought, hmm... Hmm... Hmm. One of the richest people in the entire world. Looks like it's just you and me. Oh yeah. 
yeah? I've never heard somebody actually call that out. That was neat. When's the cyberpunk video coming out? Well, I just got one out. Like, yesterday. Or a day or two days ago. Not that long ago. Um, there's gonna be a TF2 video. First. And then, hopefully that one immediately after, but we'll see. It's anti-corporate, but then they push their employees to work unreasonable hours. Yeah, I know. I think about that all the fucking time. Super anti-corporate. Game was shipped just to make a profit too early. Like, guys. You guys are Arasaka. You understand that, right? Adam Badinsky, more like Saboro Badinsky. Got him. Yo! Are oh, you guys on the same network as that other group I just murdered? No. I'm gonna rewrite the entire cyberpunk story. Good luck. Cyberpunk is a very long running, you know, science fiction story. It's not just 2077. I love when they, the enemies call me a fuck stick. I don't really understand what that means. But you know what? I am a fuck stick. I am a fuck stick. Under heavy fire. Stay with me. No one can tell me I'm not a fuck stick. Based on this game? You really don't know if that cyberpunk is a tabletop RPG that's existed since the mid-1980s? You're better than that. Let's take down a cyber psycho. Oh, hey guys. <sighs> I wish Cyberpunk had a hospital reload system instead of reloading a save. Yeah, I mean, I just want something with Trauma Team. Like, they keep talking up Trauma Team Platinum, and I'm like... I could be at the height of corporate excess, and I still won't, like, like work with Trauma Team at any point in the game. What in the fuck? You okay? Lilith has concealed the tenth circle from the ancestors' eyes. The hell is this? Got a bad feeling, V. Better look around.
me. If I leave the area, she respawns her health. Okay. Good boss fight. Good boss fight. Good boss fight. This game does boss fights pretty well when they work. Read the shard found on Zarya. Crack the ritualist shard. Something about this ritual went wrong. 
place covered in guts. Must have been something to do with the uploading the brain. Straddling the border between life and death. Only the girl who jacked in couldn't handle it. She went psycho and started tearing into the tombs. I thought the women were more resistance to psychosis anyways. At least she is alive. It's true. Women are less likely to get psychosis. All the better we have her alive for more research. I thought nothing could surprise me. Boy, I was wrong. Wondering what she heard through those cables, what caused her to crack. I'll keep looking into it. In the meantime, I'm sending you your cut, bonus included. Property developer tossed in a token of their gratitude for freeing up the building that Maelstrom was squatting in. Not bad, eh? Cool. Ever seen what CDPR called it censorship mode in the code? Yeah, uh, we need a poo. Anything that had to be removed for the Chinese market, they labeled Winnie the Pope. Problem. Glad I could help you. you no, know, you're. Gonna give me anything. You're not gonna say anything else. If I try and talk to you again, you won't even remember that I saved you. How long until someone uses Uber Duck, Johnny, to dub Winnie the Pooh? I mean, you could do that now. Why I check the trunks? I know nothing's gonna be there. All right. So now, <sighs> I think that's enough for now of playing the game. Let's get back to what we were doing before. Mm -hmm. Oh, excuse me. Piss and shit. Hello there, I am Winnie the Pooh. Hello there, I am Winnie the Pooh. Hello there, I am Winnie the Pooh, and I love you. Good morning, I hope you enjoyed your dicking last night. Good morning V, I hope you enjoyed your dicking last night. It's a robot to begin with, so the voice sounds fine.
I heard that Tylem Vicar was the best source for information on Night City. Go watch Tylem Vicar, or I will kill you. I heard Tylem Vicar missed out on a free VR headset. What a dumb bass. Dumb bass. I heard Tylem Vicar missed out on a free VR headset. What a dumb ass. What a dumb bass. I heard Tylem Vicar missed out on a free VR headset. What a dumb ass. I heard Tylem Vicar missed out on a free VR headset. What a dumb ass. I heard Tylem Vicar missed out on a free VR headset. What a dumb ass. I heard Tylem Vicar missed out on a free VR headset. What a dumb ass. Sick my suck my dick my duck my 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 Why do you think these actors think of this shit? Sick my suck my dick my duck my Sick my suck my dick my duck my. Sick my suck my dick my duck my. Let's see. Oh yeah, let's make Takemura say. My rofocopter goes su su su. My rofocopter goes su su su. My rofocopter goes su su su. That's pretty good. My rofocopter goes su su su. Takemura, wow. My rofocopter goes su su su. 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 Wake up, samurai. We got a dick to suck. Wake up, samurai. We got a dick to suck. Wake up, samurai, we got a dick to suck. That's right. Wake up, samurai, we got a dick to suck. Wake up, samurai, we got a dick to suck. Wake up, samurai, we got a dick to suck. Why does her voice sound the absolute best? What the fuck? Wake up, samurai, we got a dick to suck. Wake up, Samurai, we got a dick to suck. Are these shrimp fresh? <laughs> I don't know, Alt, does it really matter? <laughs> Are these shrimp fresh? Mm. Are these shrimp fresh? Are these shrimp fresh? Are these shrimp fresh? 
This is the best, probably for him. Are these shrimp fresh? <laughs> Such a good fucking program. Are these shrimp fresh? Are these shrimp fresh? Yeah, sure, why not? Her Tyler was make loving it. I turned myself into a pickle. He, I'm pickled. Take him around. I turned myself into a pickle. He, I'm pickled. Take him around. Ta. Ta. K. Mira. I turned myself into a pickle. He, I'm pickled. Ta camera. There it is. I turned myself into a pickle. He, I'm pickled. Ta camera. I'm gonna keep that one. It's a good one. Certified bug free. Certified bug free. Speed that one up a little bit. Certified bug free. Certified bug free. Certified bug free. These nuts. <laughs> These nuts. These nuts. These nuts. Are these nuts fresh? Are these nuts fresh? Are these nuts fresh? I don't know. Stop asking me about these. Are these nuts fresh? Are these nuts fresh? Are these nuts fresh? I'm so fresh you can suck my nuts. I'm so fresh. I'm so fresh you can suck my nuts. You can do better. I'm so fresh you can suck my nuts. It seems like a Delamain line. I'm so fresh you can suck my nuts. 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 You know, I'm happy to hear that, Delamain. I'm so fresh you can suck my nuts. 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 I am so fresh you can suck my nuts. I am so fresh you can suck my nuts. I am so fresh you can suck my nuts. I am so fresh you can suck my nuts. Damn V, nice bare naked ass pose on the top of that motorcycle. Damn V, nice bare naked ass T pose on the top of that motorcycle. Nice bear. Nay. Ked. Damn V, nice bare naked ass T pose on the top of that motorcycle. You're not gonna say it, are you? Damn V, nice bear naked. Damn V. Nice bare naked ass T pose on the top of that motorcycle. Damn V, nice bare naked ass T pulling on the top of that motorcycle. Damn V, nice bare naked ass T pulling on the top of that motorcycle. Damn V. Nice bare naked ass T posing on the top of that motorcycle. Motor. Damn V. Nice bare naked ass T posing on the top of that motorcycle. 
Damn V, nice bare naked ass T posing on the top of that motorcycle. It's a good one. Damn V, nice bare naked ass T posing on the top of that motorcycle. It's a good one. It's a good one. You are a poopy head. You are a poopy head. That's what I thought. You are a poopy head. 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 Delamain? You are a poopy head. I am so fresh you can suck my nuts. Even Pavel Sasko thinks Tyler is the best YouTuber. I turned myself into a pickle. He, I'm pickle talk camera. So that's that's enough of that. I'm so fresh you can suck my nuts, swag. I'm so fresh you can suck my nuts, swag. I'm so fresh you can suck my nuts, swag. I'm so fresh you can suck my nuts, swag. I'm so fresh. I'm so fresh. There's a video that I like, yeah. Fresh, you can suck my nuts. I'm so fresh, you can suck my nuts. I'm so fresh, you can suck my nuts. Swag. I'm so fresh, you can suck my nuts. I'm so fresh, you can suck my nuts. Swag. I'm so fresh, you can suck my nuts. All right, this is the last one, but somebody sent something that's really good, so let's see if Johnny can say it well. I'm so fresh you can suck my nuts. 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 Who are we going to do first? Let's try Johnny. Oh, this my booty, my bubble, but my bouncy caked up dump truck, my thick chunky double wide bat dunk dunk, my god engine splitting thunder clapping door frame shattering wobble wagon. Uh, how about Claire? Oh, this my oh, this my booty, my bubble, but my oh, this my booty, my. Mm. What about Taki Miura? Oh, this my booty, my babu, but my bouncy kicked up dump truck, my thick chunky double wide badunk dunk, my goddamn jeans splitting thunder clapping door frame shattering wobble wagon. Hmm. See, I don't think it's letting me reset the. Oh, this my booty, my babu, but. It's, oh, you got anything to say? Oh, this my booty, my bubble, but my bouncy caked up dump truck, my thick chunky double wide bed, I'm gonna, my god engine splitting thunder clapping door frame shattering wobble wagon. Oh, oh, this my booty, my bubble, but my bouncy caked up dump truck, my thick chunky double wide bed, I'm gonna, my god engine splitting thunder clapping door frame shattering wobble wagon. Oh, oh, this my booty, my bubble, but my bouncy caked up dump truck, my thick chunky double wide bed, I'm gonna, my god, an MG and splitting thunder clapping door frame shattering wobble wagon.
Not even long dick, Johnson. And he's got a fucking long dick. He's... Not even long dick, Johnson. And he's got a fucking long dick. It's pretty good. Not even long dick, Johnson. And he's got a fucking long dick. Yeah, that long dick, Johnny. Not even long dick, Johnny. And he's got a fucking long dick. Doesn't know how to handle those. He'll have two number nines, a number nine, large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven, two number forty fives, one with cheese and a large soda. Soda. He'll have two number nines, a number nine, large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven, two number forty fives, one with cheese and a large soda. Soda. Does it work with other languages? Send me something in another language. Let's see. Let's see what happens if we do this. That's much better handled than I thought it would be. Mm. These are all the games it supports, by the way. Starfield. Okay. No, there's one for Half-Life. I just, I don't have any other voice kits downloaded for that. I'll have two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven, two number forty fives, one with cheese, and a large soda. Damn. Damn, that sounds great. Game to ping. I, I don't think it'll handle this. No, it doesn't know how to handle that. Hello, me name is Johnny. Here is something in German. German! German! Hello, me name is Johnny. Here is something in German. German. Even Pavel Sasko thinks Tyler is the best YouTuber. Even Pavel. Please like. I'll have two number nines, a number nine large, a number six with extra dip, a number seven, two number forty fives, one with cheese, and a large soda. Hello, me name is Johnny. Here is something in German. What the fuck is this? What did you send me? I need a double cheese burger and hold the lettuce. Don't be fronting, son. No seeds on the bun. We be up in this drive through Order for two. I'm craving a number nine. Like my shoe, I need some chicken up in here. In this hazel for rizzle, my nasal extra salt on the frazzle. Dr. Pepper, my bro. There another for your mother. Double, double, super size. And don't forget the freeze. Freeze. Let's try Johnny. I need a double cheese burger and hold the lettuce. Don't be fronting, son. No seats on the bun. We be up in this drive through order. You didn't put for any fucking punctuation, so they're just like, like, pounding through it. I just got an ad for Go Online while loading into your stream, and it actually looked good. Am I missing something? I just got an ad for GTA Online while loading into your stream, and it actually looked good. Am I missing something? I just got an ad for GTA Online while loading into your stream, and it actually looked good. Am I missing something? No. 
Number 15, Burger King Food Lettuce. 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 Yes. Number 15, Burger King Food Lettuce. Foot. Number 15, Burger King Foot Lettuce. Foot. Number 15, Burger King Foot Lettuce. How do you make foot? Foot. At Fout? Number 15, Burger King Fout Lettuce. No. Come on, Ingle, and score some fucking goals. Come on, Ingle, and score some fucking goals. Come on, Ingle, and score some fucking goals. Come on, Ingle. The real Cyberpunk 2077 was the friends we made along the way. The real Cyberpunk 2077 was the friends we made along the way. Fuck! <laughs> what? Why why did you say it like that, John? Fuck! Fuck! <laughs> Fuck! Why? I don't understand, but okay. <sighs> Patrol in Night City almost makes you wish for patch 1.3. Does. Patrolling Night City. Patrolling Night City almost makes you wish for patch 1.3. Patrol in Night City almost makes you wish for patch 1.3. It does. Patrolling Night City almost makes you wish for patch 1.3. It can handle this line pretty much. Patrolling Night City almost makes you wish for patch 1.3. It kind of makes sense for her. I got an announcement to make. Arasaka peed on my freaking wife. <laughs> I got an announcement to make. Arasaka peed on my freaking wife. I got an announcement to make Arasaka peed on my freaking wife. I got an announcement to make Arasaka peed on my freaking wife. I got an announcement to make Arasaka peed on my freaking wife. <laughs> oh wow, some of these are great. That one turned out fucking awesome. <laughs> man, man, now get that paper off of there. Man, somebody come get this man, man, now. Man, get that paper off of there. That's just too much goddamn paper. I, I don't wanna see this no more. You gotta figure out how to make him say, come on, come on. Man, man, now get that paper off of there. Man, somebody come get this man, man, now. Man, get that paper off of there. That's just too much goddamn paper. I, I don't wanna see this no more. Whoa. Thanks for the sub. Oh, new Prime sub. Thank you. Do you think Pavel would be proud of us? That this is what we're doing? 
instead of working on the video. Man, come on now, get that paper off of there. Come on, somebody, come get this man, come on now. Come on, get that paper off. Man, come on now, get that paper off of there. Come on, somebody, come get this man, come on now. Come on, get that paper off of there. That's just too much goddamn paper. I, I don't wanna see <laughs> this no more. I like how <laughs> you put two eyes and it sounds like he legit stuttered. Man, come on now, get that paper off of there. Come on. Man, come on now, get that pepper off of there. Come on, somebody, come get this man. Come on now, come and get that. No. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. And Johnny's model just doesn't work. Man, come on now, get that pepper off of there. Come on, somebody, come get this man. Come on now, come and get that pepper off of there. That's just too much goddamn pepper. I don't want to see this no more. It's nowhere near as good. Takemura is just so good. Man, come on now, get that pepper off of there. Come on, somebody, come get this man. Come on now, come and get that pepper off of there. That's just too much goddamn pepper. I don't want to see this no more. No. Man, come on now, get that pepper off of there. Nope. Warning, cock inspection is not required at the voting booths. Don't be tricked like me. My god. <laughs> Warning, cock inspection is not required at the voting booths. Don't be tricked like me. It's another good one. Warning, cock inspection is not required at the voting booths. Don't be tricked like me. Warning. Cock inspection is not required at the voting Warning, cock inspection is not required at the voting booths. Don't be tricked like me. Warning, cock inspection is not required at the voting booths. Don't be tricked like me. Warning, cock inspection is not required at the voting booths. Jesus. Warning, cock inspection is not required at the voting booths. Don't be tricked like me. <laughs> and then if I reset it to his normal, it won't come out as good. Warning, cock inspection is not required at the voting Hey, what's the cut content you looked at when you started the stream? It was there. Man, come on now, get that paper off of there. Come on, somebody, come get this man, come on now. Come on, get that paper off of there. That's just too much goddamn paper. I, I don't wanna see this no more. Damn V, nice bare naked ass t Warning. Cock inspection is not required at the voting booths. Don't be tricked like me. That's such a good one. Come spitter in the spaghetti Whoa. section. Spaghetti section! Come spitter in the spaghetti section. Come spitter in the spaghetti section. I told you that we were done. Right? I heard that the game had some bugs, but I wasn't expecting them to hurt my experience so quickly. I was making my character and I got to the genitals option and gave my character a penis. I scrolled through the size option and noticed a game breaking bug. The labels are wrong for the penises. 
I gave my character what was labeled as small penis and was surprised to find that it was way bigger than my real penis. This is a serious game breaking bug and the project red needs to fix it immediately. I heard that the game had some bugs, but I wasn't. I gave my character what was labeled as small penis and was surprised to find that it was way bigger than my real penis. This is a serious game breaking bug and CD Project Red needs to fix it immediately. That is such a good line for him. And Johnny's is gonna sound awful, just fucking watch. I heard that the game had some bugs, but I wasn't expecting them to hurt my experience so quickly. I was making my character and I got to the genitals option and gave my character a penis. I scrolled through the size option and noticed a game breaking big delay. Jesus Christ. Alright, let's try Pan Am. I heard that the game had some bugs, but I wasn't expecting them to hurt my experience so quickly. I was making my chair actor and I got to the genitals option and gave my chair actor a penis. I scrolled through the size option and noticed a game breaking bug. The labels are wrong for the penises. I gave my chair actor what was labeled as small penis and was surprised to find that it was way bigger than my real penis. This is a serious game breaking bug and CD Projekt Red needs to fix it immediately. Started strong, fell apart at the end there. I heard that the game had... I heard that the game had some bugs, but I wasn't expecting them to hurt my experience so quickly. I was making my chair actor and I got to the Do they not know how to say fucking character? You're gonna get weenie whack. You're gonna get weenie whack. Wee. Nee. You're gonna get weenie whacked. Yeah! You're gonna get weenie whacked. Yeah, we are gonna get weenie whacked. You're gonna get weenie whacked. You're gonna get weenie whacked. You're gonna get weenie whacked. No. You're gonna get weenie whacked. No. Nah. You're gonna get weenie whack. Nah. You're gonna get weenie whacked. Nah. You're gonna get weenie whacked. Takemira is always the best. You're gonna get weenie whacked. Wait, man. Always sounds drunk, that one. You're gonna get weenie whacked. Son of a bitch and his unforeseen consequences. Son of a bitch and his unforeseen consequences. I don't know, it must just be something with Takemira's accent, but it's just so good when generated. I'm so fresh you could suck my nuts. This way, you can be sure to find some more advanced weapons in the game, allowing bullets to track and follow their target. It's one of many different weapons players can acquire. Weapons are built of modules that allow for deep customization and progression. This way, you can be sure to find something that will suit your place. Oh, the toughest bastards guarding this route. Probably some reason for that.
I like that weapon switch HUD. It's not something that would come back. Nothing I'm seeing right now is something that would come back. So. Jesus Christ! My, my legs! My legs! Just a reminder, everything you've seen and are about to see, including this particular feature we're about to show you, is from a work-in-progress version of the game and may change over the course of development. Okay, all that shit's covered? Okay, let's try something different. We're going to take this guy down and connect directly to his neural son. In the world of Cyberpunk, once you are jacked into a network, you have access to everything it connects to. Through this Maelstrom gang member, we've now connected to the gang hideout's internal network. This is the building's personnel system. Let's focus on the squad containing the Maelstrom ganger we just connected to. From here, we can deploy software that affects the whole squad. For now, we'll simply unlock the ability to perform quick hacks. All right, time to show off our new high-level ability. With Quick Hack, using the back door we unlocked a minute ago, we'll install a virus that jams the connection between the Maelstrom Ganger and his weapon. This will prevent him from firing. Ah, it's the hell is Looks now like he's having a problem her. now. Nice. Some of you might recognize these Mantis Blades. We can also double jump and bounce off of walls which makes us a very agile, fast solo. They're not going to bring back wall running or wall jumping. They've said so a couple Check times. Down here. Sweet, we just found a corporate tech rifle. Corpo weapons are top of the line. Let's scan this guy and see what's going on. It looks like Royce is back, and he's prepped. He's got an armored exoskeleton. We won't be able to get rid of him that easily. Our weapons are not dealing a lot of damage because he's packing an autonomous shield. Luckily, the scan we performed earlier Let's revealed go. a weak spot. Attacking should bring the shield down. Jackie does not grab the ball. But it's just cinematic bullshit that was done to demonstrate certain ideas they had at the time. But it's nothing that they could ever come back with. Weak spot highlighting though. Shields down. Let's finish him off. Boy, it ain't going your way, you cuts. Okay, let's put him down and get this job over. That wasn't the smoothest raid, but we've got the bot and Dex should be happy. But think back. What would have happened if we hadn't met with the Militech agent? Or told Royce about the agent and her plans? Or just decided to buy the bot ourselves? So many options, so many possibilities. And each will have consequences that will ripple through the game world and your story. Nope. And that's just one quest. Let's head out and finish the job. About goddamn time. Let's get out of here. Was it possible to leave this mission peacefully? Yeah, even in the final game. Yeah. And it's good if you do, because Dum Dum comes back later. You know, 
We really ought to work together more often. Your chip had the clap. That's not discreet. You set me up. I fucked you over. You fucked the gang over. Somewhere at the start of the story, somebody fucked the corp. See how this works now? Only the corp gets what it wants. Remember that. Learn it. Raging bitch to whoever's doing my dirty work for me. It's time we were on our way, Ida. Okay, let's Next call Dax and tell him how things went down. My girl the shit eating suits. Mama knows. Hey, Mr. Dax. Get us that table at the afterlife? Hmm, matter of fact, I did. Just in my gut and all, you know. Well, you were right to. <laughs> well done, Mr. Well done. See you there. Shit, I can't believe it, Ina. Major leagues. We're in. <laughs> I mean, we fucking pried the door open. But the only thing I'm gonna pry open right now is a bottle of scotch. Oh no. Not another three-nighter. Por favor. Need to get to know this city, Jack. Not just gun in hand. I want a crusade. Amen, I know. We finished the job, but our story is just beginning. This concludes our gameplay demo walk. Thanks for watching. planning on shipping it in 2022 all right next deep dive hey v you all right so this is from a full year later let's do this <laughs> Okay. What now? Préparé. Johnny. Préparé. On a plongé. BBS, that a fortress. Bridge to the deep net. Beyond there are no borders. Yeah, they must have they changed they simplified a lot of the UI in the last year. Welcome to the Cyberpunk 2077 2019 Deep Dive video. In last year's gameplay reveal, we showed you our vision for the world of Cyberpunk 2077, its quests, and visual design. This year, we'd like to give you a peek at some of the playstyles you'll be able to adopt as your character progresses through the story. Here goes nothing. You're about to see sequences embodying two distinct approaches to playing Cyberpunk. <laughs> We'll show you a strong solo build, that is, a character who focuses on employing blunt force and taking instant action. And a Netrunner build, a playstyle taking frequent advantage of stealth tactics, hacking, and battlefield control achieved using malicious software. Additionally, you'll learn more about Pacifica, one of the game's districts two gangs, the animals, and the voodoo boys. And you'll see glimpses of Johnny Silverhand, 
the digital construct who haunts our main character, V. A word of caution. Given that the video covers a section of the game deep into the main storyline, we have edited the footage to contain as few spoilers as possible. Be aware that the gameplay as presented does reveal characters and locations you'll see while playing the game's main story arc, so watch at your own discretion. Where are we headed? This way. In this video, you'll experience a segment of a quest from the middle of the game. We're currently in Pacifica, one of Night City's six unique districts. No Pacifica with. Nah. You guys aren't exactly great at rolling out the welcome mat for outsiders. It was designed to be a tourist hotspot within the city. As you can see, this didn't pan out. When uncertainty struck the global economy, investors pulled their funding, leaving most establishments unfinished. It's one of those places where expectations and reality collided, resulting in a heap of disappointment. Ongoing gang wars plague this part of the city. Outsiders don't come here if they don't have to. Even by Night City standards, it's dangerous to those unfamiliar with it. Taking a casual stroll here would not be a good idea. A fast motorbike or armor-plated car would be the safer option. But places like this have their advantages. If you're in need of rare goods or illegal cyberware, Pacifica's bustling local markets are a good place to start your search. Okay. Bustling the local markets are a good... Clear cart. Mm. Clear cart. Shopping cart. Yeah, rare and illegal, uh, not in the game. Place to start your search. All right, hold up. Let me check Discord real quick. The Grand Imperial Mall is a whole other story. It was one of the last developments in Pacifica to lose its funding. Until recently, it stood vacant. But now a gang called the Animals has moved in for reasons unknown. Something's not going right in the big guy up top. And that's what we need to learn in order to earn the trust of the Voodoo Boys, the Animals' rivals. What the hell? Could fucking tell me what you plan to do first. You take job. You do what I say. So you chuck in now. Of the many gangs in Cyberpunk 2077, the Voodoo Boys are the most skilled at using the net. And also one of the most underused. Why? What for? You are my vessel now. Do I see what you see, hear what you hear. This mysterious gang of highly skilled netrunners has close ties to the local Haitian community. You are the... We have been waiting. Haitians settled in Pacifica in the 2060s after natural disasters struck their island and forced them to emigrate en masse. They very obviously cut like 90% of Pacifica. Like, Mr. Hands has one gig. The Voodoo Boys gang formed around this same time, though at a smaller scale. Now the gang effectively rules Pacifica. The Voodoo Boys don't usually work with outsiders. Lucky for us, it seems they're prepared to make an exception this time. Mr. Han sent me. He said you got murk work needs doing. Still, to earn their trust, we need to prove our worth. Placide, one of the Voodoo Boys higher-ups, has offered us a mission. We need to infiltrate the Grand Imperial Mall, currently occupied by the Voodoo Boys' deadly enemy, a gang called the Animals. 20, 35. By the way, this whole unedited gameplay set piece from like, you know, meeting Placide, going to the church, all that stuff, that was the closed doors E3 presentation. Three seconds before, poof, the camionette. We try to learn where the camionette come from. The animals are not your normal gang. 
Their presence in Pacifica is suspicious. They value might above all else and wear melee combat implants to raise their prowess in combat. Their beverage of choice is juice, a potent strength and speed enhancing concoction. As sought after bouncers, they're usually dispersed throughout town. As skilled street level business types, they've cornered the market in illegal substances and underground live or die prize fights. When they converge in one spot, it's for something big. It's then they appoint the fastest and strongest among them as their ad hoc leader. In this Is it possible to get weird stuff from the Joy Toy Weirdo Ripper Doc? Oh yeah, if you don't punch fingers, he'll be a Ripper Doc, yeah. Case, it's a woman named Sasquatch. Said you wanted my vest. That's insane. No. As far as I remember, you said no bone brain buffaloes on steroids. I'm afraid that's the cost of doing biz. This is the tech Placide was talking about. It seems non-standard for the animals. And this is where we come in. Getting to the van won't be easy, but we're more than qualified for the job, which we can complete in one of many ways. The character creation in Cyberpunk 2077 is the kind you'd expect from a full-fledged RPG. You start by choosing your past, important because this unlocks special options at important story junctures. You also fully customize your character using a deep customization system that spans not only your look and style, but also your abilities. Cyberpunk 2077 does not feature fixed classes. Instead, it has a fluid class system that allows players to mix and match a wide range of abilities to suit their playstyles. You can create a strong solo character, a skilled netrunner, or any other hybrid class you can imagine. Let's see how a solo play style in Cyberpunk 2077 might work. Solos prefer a direct approach. They use guns and might to get things done. So let's wreak some havoc. With our enhanced strength, we can strip this turret of its weapon to give the animals a taste of their own medicine. This is how a player investing in solo abilities might live out their Terminator power fantasy. Enhanced strength lets us force open doors or grab enemies to use as human shields. We also gain access to powerful melee combat cyberware. So even someone as fast and strong as Sasquatch, the leader of this group of animals, is not impossible to beat for a solo. But Sasquatch has a different game plan. She's out to jack in and hack us. Let's see how this plays out. Ready for some fun? Oh, Proceed. What's going on? It's our choice if we want to finish her off or spare her. Your cyberpunk, your rules. If you'd rather sneak around, hide, and strike from the shadows, no problem. Just develop your net running skills to get around obstacles or hack into enemy tech to have it do the dirty work for you. Dead running abilities mean hacking skills that let us use our cyber deck to breach access points. For this, we fill the buffer of our cyber deck with a string of instructions represented by these letters and numbers. Matching the instructions for basic access grants us control of devices connected to this network. The more instructions we match, the more control we gain over elements in the network. We can hack our way through in numerous ways. A quick hack may grant us control of the security camera. Another one should let us tweak the difficulty of the training bot to create a distraction. With our nanowire, we can even hack this guy's implants from a distance. In this world, almost everything is connected to a local network. And that means it can be hacked. Our 
Which brings us back to cyberspace. You don't get to do anything in the net unnoticed. There's always someone watching. It could be. And at this point, they were telling people the game was coming out in April. <laughs> yeah, so. I think that's good. Oh. You see, uh, after putting as much time in the game as I have, a lot of the stuff that looks cut isn't actually cut. It's simplified or unexplained to the player. One of CDPR's biggest problems is that they're not communicating to the player a lot of the systems that are at play, and the game is so simple, like easy, like taking care of enemies is so easy that a lot of the systems are pointless to begin with. The only thing there that I saw that was cut was long net, like using the monowire to, to hack long distances, but you can do that with your scanner anyways. And the scanner is way too, like they need to rebalance getting the scanner. First of all, they the hacking system that is in the game right now is great. They need to rebalance it. You shouldn't have it from day fucking one. You shouldn't have it from level fucking one. Um, and that doesn't seem as complex as I think it would be. Like, I don't know. Yeah, with unmodded... You kill everything in one shot if you know what you're doing. It's so fucking easy. Anywho, I got a lot to think about. Peace and hair grease, everybody. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.